Stanislaw with Motion VFX with a quick tutorial on how to use the Amluck Collections Movie 2 to make your footage look more cinematic. For this tutorial, we'll be using the MLUT plugin, and it is a professional LUT loader that is completely free from Motion VFX. Once you have MLUT plugin installed and your MMovie 2 LUTs, we'll go into the Effects tab of Final Cut Pro 10, click MLUT, and load the MLUT plugin and apply it onto our clip. To access any of our controls, we'll need to open up the inspector. Next, let's click on the MLUT preset button to launch the LUT library. Inside the library are going to be all your different LUT presets. So let's click on this category and select MMovie 2 to jump to those presets. All the different LUTs are represented by these preview images, so just selecting any of these preview images will apply that particular LUT directly to your clip. I'm a big fan of this one down here, so I'm going to mark this as a favorite by clicking this star icon, and I can view all my different favorites by clicking on this star, and at any time to deselect a favorite, just click the star again. Once I've selected my LUT, I'll click OK. Below the LUT library is an intensity slider. Below the actual LUT library controls are all these other controls for our levels, contrast, and saturation controls that we can use to further manipulate the color and tone of our project. Something else that's included with the MLUT plugin is a grain generator effect, and this lets us put in different kinds of grain into our footage. And even if you're not using video footage and grain, you may want to use the blue noise to reduce banding on certain gradient images. Moving to the top, I'll just take a quick look of my before and my after. One of the things I really like about MLUT is how fast it is to just quickly load different LUTs and see exactly what it's going to look like or even shuffle between different looks. Now if I'm looking for a specific LUT and I have a lot of these, I may want to use the search bar and put in the name. You can always load in your own LUT too, so if you have a LUT from somewhere else that you'd like to put into the library, just click this button and bring in your LUT. Let's take a look at another example. I've already loaded MLUT onto this clip with my cars. Instead of loading a LUT first, let's dial in our levels. And what I'm doing with the level and the contrast control is I'm using these to tweak my footage first, then adding a LUT. Inside the LUT library, I'll choose the category Movie 2 and choose my LUT. From this point, we can still go back and manipulate our levels and contrast. Either way you want to work with it, it's up to you. Let's review one more time and add a practical example. I'll drag my MLUT effect onto my clip. And I'm going to start with this clip here. And I'm going to load a LUT from the preset library. I'm going to choose one from the Movie 2 category and I'll click one of the preview images to apply that LUT and click OK. If I want to further manipulate my footage, this is when I'll do that and I'll periodically check my before and after. Chances are you're going to want to apply this effect to multiple clips in your timeline. So I'm going to save this as an effect preset. And what this will let me do is create a quick preset of all my settings with my MLUT loaded, meaning now in the future, if I ever add clips to this or change out my footage, I have a perfect formula of this look I can quickly apply. And I'll just go down to my category I just created and I have this effect preset I want to apply to multiple clips. I'm going to hold the command key and select multiple clips and then select my effect. And if I double click it, it'll apply it to every clip that's selected. I'm in my first clip and I can see my before and after and still manipulate my levels. And this way, if I need to make individual changes to my clips, I can do that on a clip by clip basis. Now for this last clip, I'm going to take off MLUT and show you a different way you can load your LUTs using M Film Look. I'm going to drag M Film Look onto my clip and inside the inspector I'll go down to the LUT loader 
click the LUT preset button, which will open up the same LUT library we saw before, but now we can import our M LUTs into M Film Look. Back inside M Movie 2, I'll apply the same LUT as before. Once I have my LUT loaded, I'll use the rest of the effects and features inside M Film Look to further tweak the look of my clip. I'll review my before and after, and this clip will be an end tag for our product logo. So I'm going to put in a M title right here at the end and just make some changes to my text. In this case, I'm just changing out the text to put in the company name. And let's take a look at the completed project. 